you listened to the devil. You showed him confidence. You, you who until yesterday knew nothing of Satan, you so easily made him your trusted friend and master. I respected your freedom, although you owe it to me. You surrendered it to your fiercest enemy. You unwittingly became his aider and abettor, and you have paid for it with your misfortune. Above all, you failed to understand that your enemy used you to root their eternal evil in your kingdom, in the place where I put you, heaven, so you could never, never find peace again. I feel very jolly right now. Alright. Anyway, let us uh, see what this game is all about. Also, this is probably a DMCA, so let's try to ignore that as much as I can and get out of here before uh, something will happen. We have gas. I'm touching gas. Alright. Can I close the door? We have more gas. Even more gas. Alright, well, I just now touched more gods than I ever did in my life. Certification of Appreciation. Father Abraham Marcus for volunteering time and effort at St. Anna Orphanage. Okay. Is there something behind? Okay, can I put it away? Thank you. My indispensable addiction. Ah, yes. We have a, we have a tea or coffee drinking animation. Yes, we need to have that in any game. What is this? Now on Well, we're in a different place. Oh, oh God. He strikes again. It was only a few days ago that another boy was reported missing from St. Mary's Church. This is the seventh in a string of children reported missing since just last month. All of them were four souls from St. Anne's Orphanage, apparently under the custody of Father Abraham Marcus. I witness confirmed... Me? I would mad. Are they accusing me? Each night I pray for the safe return of the altar boy. God as my witness. Could there be an unholy will at work here? Now, we have breaking news about the killer priest from Black Tower. Eyewitness confirms he really did murder those eight children. Father Ryan Carpenter is here with a message for him. Father, we have to speak about what you did. You used to call them angels, but in the end, you killed them with a straight razor. They were innocent children, Father. There's blood on your hands. There's even blood on the altar. You're a demented maniac. Satan has prepared a place by his side just for you. He plans to make you commander of his army of demons. <laughs> Congratulations. Bunnies? What the hell is going on? Now, we have breaking news about Jesus. the killer priest from Black Tower. Eyewitness confirms he really did Heavenly murder Father, those eight children. help me in these Father dark Ryan times, Carpenter for you know I am your humble servant. I hear the demons gnawing at my faith. My mind is clouded by doubt. Guide me towards the light in these darkest of hours. Wherever the child may be, I know you are with him. I will not lose my faith. I know you will give me a sign. Oh, look, a sign. <laughs> what is this game? It's so ridiculous so far. 
And also, why am I impressed? <laughs> I do not want to be impressed. Oh, God, all right. Let's just uh, check this letter. I just am lowering my volume for myself a bit because it's a bit loud. Forgive me, Father. Tonight I will leave this world. My suffering is more than I can bear. I always thought I could find solace among the mortals, but I was a fool. You'll find me at the end of the world. I am waiting for you, and please do not despair. Could this mean that you're alive? I don't think he's alive, no. This doesn't... Can I take the key? Well, he, he definitely... I don't think he's alive, considering the amount of blood. Oh, so, unless this is uh, ink or a uh, stem wax thingy. Alright, well, we got the key. Uh, eating is not a sin. Eating is not a sin, but this seems to be like a sin. How vile. The one who is greedy is always in want. Horus. I assume this is like something in the Bible. The Christian Bible. Uh, Alright. Hello, kid. I could swear this thing was following me. Oh, it probably is. Judging by the way this game progresses. Yep. Yep, he's definitely looking at me. Me and the children from St. Anne's Orphanage. Hmm. That's not really done. All right. I walk the void. I'm eternal. Oh, can I can open the window? Can I hang out with the cows? The cows? No. Yeah, what am I doing here? Uh, they're from the inside. Which means that I locked the door. After his disappearance, I received a letter that seemingly came from another world. I emanated the scent of paradise. This place? Is this another of the devil's tricks? This place is not of your world. It is within the grasp of heaven. It is a part of paradise. God himself gave us this place. Only the brave, the righteous, and the loving can stay here. You're not one of them yet. In time, you'll change. Soon your eyes will see the truth. You'll break the seal of the mystery. How is my room connected to the forest? Uh, huh. Okay, well, let's uh, check out what's going on here. With fear of God, faith and love, draw... drawing far? I don't know what's written over there. Uh, sure. Some weird burning monument with paint and stuff. And something shiny, okay. Okay, we can run, thank god. Hello, Jesus. 
quanto creato I have a gift for you an image of Christ what a curious gift you will find more of these they are all scattered around my world bring eight of them to the great priest and he will reveal a great mystery to you about life and death Remember, every place that you'll visit in my world has a hidden icon somewhere. Leave no stone unturned. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go to the door. Don't know what's going on here. And as much as I would like to just run around in third place, I, I don't wish to, to do that. It was play, a place of peace and purity, as if imagined by those who... Wit? Children's story? Sure. Was that place even real? I think I'm going insane. We've invited our beloved father Are these monkeys? to talk about the recent events. Good evening, Father, and Merry Christmas. Good evening, and thank you for the invitation. May God bless us all. Regarding these events, I think we are paying for the sins we've actually never committed. So you are saying we are being punished for someone else's sins? Are you talking about Father Abraham? Listen, my son. I always carry a Bible by my side. Remember the ninth commandment? Thou shalt no, I want to listen to that. Not bear false witness against thy neighbor. But in this case, how can I not speak of him? So, is Father Abraham involved? Obviously, we are dealing with a monster. Fear the beast. For it has been unchained and is walking our very streets. This, this is the sign that the world is coming to an end. The return of our Lord Jesus Christ is ahead. Be afraid. Be very afraid. The beast could be in your very homes at this instant, and you won't even know it. Very grim warning indeed. Now, Father, I'm a simple oh, man. Geez. I'm not a very religious person, and I do not believe everything that is written in the Bible. Are you implying that Father Abraham is a beast? A priest? Of course. But how could this be possible? Listen, firstly, you invited me here on your show in the middle of the night, when I could have been at church and praying for some pitiful soul. Secondly... You haven't read the Bible, so you shouldn't speak about things you do not know. Those matters are difficult to comprehend. Such a simple mind as yours could never understand. Those are dangerous things. Lastly, I have a question for you. Yes. Who exactly do you think you are? Uh, I'm Judas Griffin. Exactly. You remind me of how Judas the Iscariot betrayed Jesus for a fistful of coins. That's exactly what you intend to do with me. Everything about your so-called midnight show is about money and ratings. Remember how Judas died? He hung himself from the tree with a rope of a dead mule. I apologize for angering you, Father. We have just a few seconds left. Do you have anything to say to our audience to calm the spirits? Stop searching for your missing children unless you're truly prepared. Satan has likely dumped them in a ditch with their throats cut. I know it sounds horrible, but this is the truth. Satan is real. He's not a shadow or an abstraction, and I'm not trying to scare you or to manipulate you as the modern people say we do. I saw Satan. I spoke to him. I was there when he was ordained into the priesthood. Satan is Father Abraham Marcus. All right. So we're playing a religiously fanatic game. I see. All right, then. Uh, hello, Mr. Toad. Do you have something for me? Hmm. Alright. Red wine and sacramental bread. Also, hello, the bunch of toads. Also, hi, kid. The Roman ritual. I used this on David to. Oh, I clicked on the screen. Time. Okay, I have a book. For some reason, the mouse is not being locked to this game, which is a well. 
whenever they click on items. Jesus, the calls, they are coming. All right. Do you have any bread? What's mm, this? Sacramental bread. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll take that. All right, now we need the red wine. What kind of trick is this? Who brought these mannequins here from the basement? I mean, they look like they're fun. Uh, let's see what we have here. Also, what's that? Holy water. Hmm, that can there come in here. story about a priest and his whore. His name was Father Abraham, and her name was Lady Alexandra. It is said that she was a faithful creature, visiting the church often at night to confess her sins. Of course, Father Abraham would ask God for forgiveness. Later in the night, they would speak again about sins. This time, it would be on how to commit them. She would touch him. Her carnal lust knew no shame. She would plead with him to touch her sinful flesh and to feel the sweetness of her lips. Once she told him, I want to feel the taste of the cross on my lips. I want to be part of your madness to make I'm liturgy good. of sin. I'm good. Is he speaking in reverse? Ah, yes. The sounds of playing monks. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what's going on with this game, but sure. We are in for a ride, apparently. What do you have in the drawer? Nothing. I never ah. felt ashamed about my relationship with Alexandra. She always had a peculiar passion about the church, and about me, especially me. Frog and calamari. All right. Yes, more grass to touch. I already touched enough grass earlier. Locked. I have a key. Can I use the key? Somehow. Inventory or something. No. Okay, cool. Hmm. There's something strange about those eyes. I don't like them staring at that door. I'm more interested about the tongue rather than the eyes, but sure, we can look at the door. The creator of all things is no more. God is dead. The creator of all things is no more. God is dead. The creator. Moshi Moshi. Hello. Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debts. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. That was a very enlightening conversation. Thank you for that call. Alright. So let's check out this is a very fun sounding door. So what's that? Yes, it's very white. Looks like a kid's drawing. I can't, I can't read it, it's too white. Okay. 
So we can't go in there. Let's see if we have something in our room. I have gauze in my toilets, yes. That's that's what I keep all my birds. <laughs> uh all right. Key, do you have some wine for me? Oh yeah, we have to sell yeah. The smell of wine. Mm hmm. All right. So now we have wine and bread. Let's go hang out with Mr. Toad. Huh? That's disgusting. It will just be a bunch of like soggy bread and wine. I please the calamari. All right. What is this? And I can pop into them. Okay, interesting. God is dead. Reality is just about the material world. Nominem, Tom, Despirium, Dene, Gamos, Nostrum, Origiem. Sure. I understood every single word. And I'm sure that I pronounced all of them correctly. I don't like the movement of this game. I have a feeling it will make me sick soon. Uh, Alright, let's see what else we have here. I'll try to move this as little as possible so it won't make me sick. This room is empty. Huh. Church library. Locked. The chairs are excited to see me. Hello, Christ. Okay, it is now I'm trying to rebuild the Statue of Christ. Hmm. I assume I need to bring something for we to play. Can I have the cake at least? No? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I... I don't know what they want from you. Oh, 
hello. Are you my guiding spirit? It was a boundless phantasmogorial of which I could make neither head nor tail. And in the midst of it all, there was him. David, if you oh. don't show yourself, the entire village will see me off to the gallows. Grown-ups never understand anything by themselves. And it is tiresome for children to be always and forever explaining things to them. Listen, I want to give my mother a flower. But the flower is dead. Can you bring it to life? Sure, I guess. Ah yeah, small praying priests. Or singing singing priests rather than praying priests. When when you come to, to a church, any church, no matter which religion. <laughs> the only thing you hear when people pray it's like like a bunch of people making noise. That's literally what you hear. Because it's just too many people. Those icons look exactly like the floating ones from the shore. Okay. Have I really lost my soul? Where is your soul? Long is the way and hard that out of hell leads up to light. Hmm. It appears to be an Eastern European language. Go towards the heavens and lay beside the Creator. It is from the Lamentations of Christ. Sure, if you say so. I never uh, read the Christian Bible. In thy light. We see the light. Anastasis. In Greek, it means resurrection. Of course, we are blind. Though seeing, we do not see. Though hearing, we do not hear. Blind, blind, blind. It means the love of God. Amor vincent a menire. Eternal wisdom. That's internal wisdom? That seems like. in the rune language. Also, that looks like tic tac tac. Alright. Okay, this is nothing. Shining star, a rose, a hot cup of, a hot cup of tears, a singing bird, white orchid, winter night, a walk in the forest, autumn leaves. I have a feeling this will change the environment. Something missing here. A stranger broke the flow of the holy tears. He was an ignorant. He ran from truth, but he fell into a dark sleep. He took the missing element with him. He's buried somewhere around. Okay, so I need to find the corpse, I guess. Oh man, we just saw creepy dolls. It makes it makes sense. We also need to find uh, some corpses. Am I that short? <laughs> Am I the kid? Hmm. It appears to be the tomb of the ignorant man David was telling me about.
Hmm, interesting. Oh, hello, Mezzy. How are you doing? It's a whole one, so you can buy. <laughs> Uh, I'm good, am I? I'm good as well. Just checking out this weird religious hall, I guess. I have no idea what's going on with this game. So far, I've... <laughs> I've been watched by dolls. I've seen some... Some weird... Uh, action with... Uh, <laughs> with dolls in bed or in, a, in the bedroom. And uh, I have no idea what I've seen so far. <laughs> it's definitely a strange game. And yeah, this is this is a horror game. Or oh, it's supposed to be a horror game. So far, the only the only horror that I've had was. Uh, Seeing a weird statue with eyes and tongue, I guess. I was watching the stream since it started, but I couldn't log into my Twitch account. Oh, I see. What happened to your Twitch account? I mean, it's supposed to be all. Rather, it's a, a scary or not, I have no idea. I can water this thing. A rose. The glowing moon. Autumn leaves. A walk in the forest. I have no idea what I'm doing here. A cup of tea. A singing bell. Huh. Oh, you can't figure out the password? Yeah. It happens. It happens. That's why you... You write down, or you use like a password manager. At least that's... Uh, that's the smart way to go about it. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Yeah, hey, service and I won't forget. Good. Good. Yeah, I don't know what they want from me. I'm watering this thing. Just I don't know with what I'm watering this thing. I think I need a hint somewhere around there. Need to find the hint. This game on Steam, yep. Yep, it's a Steam game. Okay, so this is where we came from. What do we have in the back? Oh look, it's the picture. Nice. And apparently I'm a priest in this game. V very fitting for me, considering I, I've never even touched uh, the Christian Bible. I have no idea about any anything Christian. <laughs> David, is that you? No, he's Alexander. Who is Alexander? He's my brother. I don't want to speak about him right now. Some memories bring back pain. 
priest. Yep, I am apparently a priest that is being blamed for uh, killing children or doing something with children. I have no idea. It's a very, it's a very weird game so far. Hmm. British priest? Ah, uh, I don't think. I don't think it sounds British, but I might be wrong. Doesn't sound very British to me. He went inside the tree, but I can't go inside it. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm leaving that. I don't know what this is. Uh, Alright. Oh, wait, the new door. So we can leave. Also, why is there. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so we can leave. I just don't know. What I'm supposed to do with this? I really love to play such types of games with you. You're a bit boring as all the adults, but you will get used to it in time. Yet I don't understand. I literally matched the colors. <laughs> That's the logic I went with. I was like, ah, this is blue, this is blue, this is red, this is red. Maybe maybe it will match and work out. All right. Sure. For a few moments, walking on the bench, I completely forgot about the hell at the parish. I loved the place and I wanted to stay there forever. Okay, we have another uh, locked thing. I can't believe someone destroyed this precious book just to hide a key inside. We both know that I am not guilty. Hmm. Well, that seems uh, like whoever slept here had an exciting night. This is madness. I can't even see my reflection in the mirror. Could this be real? Who knows? Only those children that you've killed. Where are the glass shards? All right. I free you, Christ. Let me turn you around. Uh. Oh look, it's the doll. Oh God, do I really have to relive these events? I, I must prepare myself then. I must get my rosary and my stole, the Roman ritual, and the holy water. I got everything. Oh God. Do I really have to relive these events? I, I must prepare myself then. I must get my rosary and my stole, the Roman ritual, and the holy water. I guess I don't have a stool. Also, what the hell is that? Alright, we need to find a stool. Ah, okay. Yeah, that seems okay. 
it's, uh, it's a bit bloody, but the man who, who isn't a bit bloody these days. All right, let's go. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. Come to the assistance of men whom God has created in his likeness, and whom he has redeemed at a great price from the tyranny of the devil. The Holy Church venerates you as her guardian and protector. To you the Lord has entrusted the souls of the redeemed to be led into heaven. Pray therefore for the God of peace to crush Satan beneath our feet, that he may no longer retain men captive and do injury to the Church. Offer our prayers to the Most High that without delay they may draw his mercy down upon us. Take hold of the dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan. Uh, well, I saw a spider. I don't think this is relevant. Yeah, the spider just disappeared. All right, well, I will say that my exorcism went uh, swimmingly. Let's see what we have here. A box I cannot touch. All right. What am I doing here? Um, well, we exercise a doll. And now I can't do anything. Can I open the door? Let's open the door as much as I can and take a peek. Nope, not like now. There's something in the oven. That messed up everything. Oh, come on, man. Okay, this one is only controlling that one. There we go. The holy number. Ah yes, I'm just going to grab this flaming hot cross. Did I just? This pain is unbearable. Did I just use the cross on my face? Oh, let me give you a hand, buddy. Oh, okay. Such a great artifact! Don't you know that wounded hands cannot hold such poison? Do not forsake me, my lord. In thy light I shall see the light. I don't know what's going on. This game is so weird. I was raving demented. 
Reliving each of the prior events mocked by David's demonic avatar, the pain was unbearable, and then I received another sign from him. Impressive. A music box in the shape of a heart. This is indeed a great artifact. I must have forgotten it that night when I left the house. Be very careful. You are responsible for what you found. All right. Why does this place look so familiar to me? Something tells me that the innocent and the beautiful sleep here. I fear that I am the one who is lifeless and not these poor souls buried here. I see. So apparently we have a heart that can uh, like shape the world. All right. Snow. Yes, snow. Also, the heart uh, I think played the music from the Nutcracker. I think, which is quite fitting to have it uh, connected to snow, but <laughs> still, this game is very weird. Very, very weird game. Other wires in a graveyard. Electricity current from from who? The, the, the dead bodies? <laughs> Are they harvesting uh, electricity from dead bodies? <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> I stole your picture. <laughs> What's up, kid? I assume that he guides me where I'm supposed to place the pictures of each kid that died. So something else. Okay, I guess I'm done with them. Oh, Rosendrop Cemetery. Why are there so many wires on the grave? I don't, I don't get it. Like what? What purpose does the wire serve? Like are they harvesting electricity from dead bodies or something? Like what? Why are all the girls connected by wires? Why 
don't get it. tell you a story. Once upon a time, there were two great warriors, a shepherd and a little prince fighting against an unjust king. The two warriors reached the gates of the city and called out their enemy, the king. He cowardly hid behind two of his archers. It so happened that some of their arrows were dipped in poison. One of those arrows hit the little prince. That's the whole aspect. <laughs> Um, yeah, we got another picture. We are supposed to find two in this place. So this is the first one. Alright, so now we need to find the other one. What does the art do? The art uh, made the uh, this entire place to become snowy. So if I use the art again, I assume it's going to make it not snowy. But I actually prefer the snow look than the other one. So I might stick with the snow for a bit. If I have to ch do like if I once I finish like going to everything, I will probably change the other one to see if I can find anything else. So far, we don't really see anything, so... It might be time to... to use Harold and see what's up. Yeah, let's use it. Look, spring came. Hello, goat. Hello, goat. Is that like yoga with goats, just with graves instead? Like you have a bunch of goats next to graves or something? <laughs> you know, to get like a better experience in, in uh, the graveyard or something? Why, why do I have a bunch of goats? Oh, hello there, Mr. Jack. How are you doing? <laughs> Mr. Jack, can you confirm, rather, uh, it might be a better experience to have uh, goats in the graveyard? Does, do you think it will enrich your experience, having goats in the graveyard? <laughs> I don't know why we have that. I'm doing good, but I hate it. Well... Doing it and hating it is part of life, right? <laughs> I think. Many ghosts were you? No, not ghosts. Goat. Goat. Many goats. Like the animal. Like these guys. These, these, these white fluffy fellows. Because apparently they are all over the graveyard. 
Oh, we don't have that here. <laughs> yeah, I was asking if if you had uh, these these guys, you think uh, the experience would be better? Having some goats roaming around. But apparently, it's part of this game. It's apparently, apparently, you want goats in your in your graveyard. Might they, might make the experience better. It's like yoga, just with graveyards. Ah. Uh... I have a syringe with white liquid. There was warm blood in his fragile body, but then it was corrupted by poison. His lungs desperately gasped for air, if only for a soft breeze of it. His mind was the only thing that was kept safe. Then he started shedding tears. Some say his crying echoed more than a thousand tolling bells. Hmm. Interesting. Now you're doing alpha, but you love it because you got a bottle of wine. <laughs> All right. Question mark. Hmm. We have a door with a lock. All right. You have a question for me. What is your question? What is your hard desire? I guess. Question mark. Do I know what the Brexit gaming is? You have a lot of some assignment uh, to others. Brexit gaming is basically when you tell the streamer what to do. As in as if you are sitting like in the back seat. Like imagine imagine you're in a car, okay? You got an ad. <laughs> so, all right. Tell me when you're out of the ad, I guess. Okay, I'm back. All right. So, Vexit Gaming is uh, is essentially like uh, a viewer telling the streamer what to do in the game. So, like, imagine if you were driving with someone in the car and you're in the back seat and you keep like, and you keep like saying like, "No, you need to drive like that. No, you need to take a left here. No, you need to take a right here. No, you're doing it wrong. You need to do you need to do that. You need to do this." So, this is backseat gaming. Like you are in the back seat and you're telling them what to do, and they don't want you to tell them what to do. That's essentially what backseating is. Or like spoilers and backseating falls falls into the same category because you might like be telling someone something is coming ahead, so you should know that you need to do that, that, and this. So you spoil the game and you backseat at the same time. So that's what uh, backseat gaming is. Basically, giving people advice without people asking for the advice. Simply put. Alright, that's not pretty now. Thank you. If I ever do that, please tell me and I will be quiet. Uh, I will do not want to bother you. I mean, it's fine. Like so far, I haven't been backseated, especially not in this game, which is which is a very very weird game. Also, my mouse has disappeared. I don't know where my mouse is. Yeah, I can't see my mouse. Hmm. Let's see what happens if I click on something else. Well, apparently this game makes my mouse disappear. Alright. Good to know. Hmm, but now I can't see chat. Okay, now I can see chat. Alright. Um, well, I have no idea what we need to, what we need to do here. Yeah? I know that we need one more picture, but I don't know what... I'm looking for. Also, if you type uh, exclamation mark Bexit in my chat, I think it like tell tells you what Bexiting is. 
I believe I made a comment for it. But some people don't know what backseating is, so I do have a comment that explains it a bit, a bit I guess. But as far as my back sitting goals, uh, my back sitting, sitting goals are a bit different than, than other people because for the most part if I don't want someone to back sit me I just won't look at chat and if I want some hint or something I will look at chat but uh, in general I want, uh, other people won't tell me exactly what to do or rather they give me like a hint of what to do so yeah that's uh, more my general role of, of back sitting I guess because in the end of the day, when people come to a stream, they come to get an impression from the game, they come to play the game with the streamer in a way. So they don't want to deny that from them completely. But at the same time, I do also want to enjoy the game in my own way. So I feel that ignoring is probably the better choice between uh, doing that and this. But at the same time, there isn't really a perfect solution, no matter which way you choose. So, yeah, I'm basically just trying a different approach, I guess. Because I don't think that uh, having people uh, denied it and then getting mad and having the streamer upset or having the people upset, not, like none of that is going to help anyone and then in the end. Uh, it's not good to... The viewers, it's not good for the streamer, it's not good for anyone, so... It's unhealthy to everyone involved. That's at least the way that I see it. Can you dig the graves? I wish I could. I, I tried earlier, it didn't let me. I wish I could. I would dig all of them. <laughs> if I could dig it again, I would dig every single one of them. <laughs> uh, taking my job, I say. <laughs> yep. Let's see if uh, maybe the snow... Oh, okay, so that's what we need to do. Alright, we need the snow area. Or maybe not. Hmm. Okay. Ah, okay, so we need to come here when we have a key and then we get to unload this thing. Okay, so I, I'm starting to understand what the mechanic we are supposed to do, okay. So, basically we are changing between time periods. So, we need to get a key from this area, probably during the winter, and then come over there during the 
Spring. Or summer, or whatever season this is, I have no idea. What is that? Only the brave can enter the great laboratory. Only the one that can crush a demon and bring it as a burnt offering for the architect of the worlds. A demon as a sacrifice. Where could I possibly find one? I guess it's time for you to meet my brother, Alexander, the little prince, as everyone calls him. He has a special trap that will help you on your journey. He lives in a small house on top of a hill somewhere around here. You never told me you had a brother. You never listened. Right. Well, we have a brother and we've got a hand. Um, uh, I need to do something here. I don't know what, but all right. You really want that love heart in real life? That would be so cool, just switching weather whenever. Yeah, that would be like a nice thing to have. Especially if like you have like a terrible heat day. God, I wish I could change to, to cold weather whenever it's like extremely out of our air. I'm not looking forward to summer at all. Summer is going to be rough. Okay, let's uh, change the season. And see what happens there. You wish to change the season to winter right now. <laughs> yeah, you live in uh, in Asia, right? So like everything is warm for you right now. Yeah. Australia. Oh, okay. So even even worse. <laughs> even worse. It's right now very hot in Australia. Okay, I can't interact with anything. Hmm. Well. 41 degrees? Yeah, that's, that's disgusting. Our summer was mostly like 40, 40 something degrees, 45 degrees. And the summer before that, we had like 50 degrees. It was exciting last summer. At least this summer wasn't as bad as the previous one, but man, this one wasn't a picnic either. Hmm. No, no, I, I use Celsius. I, I live in Europe, so Celsius. I'm not American. I'm not an Americano. Americano. Only Americano uses uh, Fahrenheit. Freedom units are only American things. No worries. I mean, again, just uh, just something that you should keep in mind, though, that uh, whenever uh, someone is using Fahrenheit, it probably means that they're American. Because the metric system is used by Europe and everyone else in the world, other than America. And in one other country that's still using it. But everyone else using the, the metric system. Same for... Uh, Distance measuring and weight measuring. Everyone using the kilogram system and uh, the liter system and all of that. And the kilometer system. Only America uses uh, uh, yards, I think it's called. Yards and uh, feet and whatever else. You 
You know, funny thing is, some places in America teach both systems, but they still choose to use the the imperial system. I don't know why. Like, I have no idea. But they do teach it to some to some people, because I know that some people uh, mentioned, like some American people mentioned to me that they actually learned the the metric system. But because the entire country is still using the imperial system, they don't get a lot of use for it. Unless there are people that like uh, do business with people from Europe or like trade with the people from Europe and then they do me the measuring in, uh, in metric. Because it makes sense for them. Alright, I don't know what to do. I literally tried everything. Hmm. I have a syringe and I have a hand. Maybe I can use the hand as a key. I tried to use a syringe on the people. I figured maybe I need to like drag them and take them with me. But it doesn't allow me to use it. Woman, the children are now in the embrace of heaven. Oh. I didn't know I can do that. I tried to speak to them in front and it didn't work. There we go. Hmm, okay, well, I apparently did what I was supposed to do. I made them all ascend. All right, nice. No, the kid, no, the mom, yeah, it's fine. It was their time. It was their time. Okay, so this is where I came from. I want to go... I believe the door I saw earlier, maybe? Or the altar? You saw from the kid, and then poofed him. <laughs> I mean, did I really steal from him? He led me to where he wants me to put a picture, so if, if anything I helped the kid. I gave him a hand. He wanted the, the other kids to ascend. Still a question mark. Hmm. Okay, what about the door then? Let's see if we can open that. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Uh, am I preparing the body or organs for burial? Bob, I know, and Brett. Uh, uh, the, the one that jumps, yes. <laughs> I know. Hmm, okay, hold on. So 
So I think this is the heart. I think this is the brain. And I think this is Brett. What the hell is going on? <laughs> what what happened? Did it just come from my head? Yeah, sorry about the ads. I tried to minimize them because Twitch was shoving ads down my throat. Even totally disabled them. So I put uh, one ad every every hour. Wait, how did you get an ad right now? The ad should only come once an hour. Oh. Oh, okay, this is wrong then. Yeah. That being sneaky. Okay, there we go. Now everything is pumping. Is that the wrong one? Frankenstein? I I don't I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, so this says that the lungs are correct. And this one... Okay, this rings these bells, so this is also correct. So I was right at the beginning. Everything is ringing. Okay, I guess it was because I didn't have the other thing active. Alright. Oh God. I always asked myself why God allowed children to die. Don't be sad. You must be brave now. I've been playing the entire time and I have no idea what's going on. I, I, can, I can't tell you. I have no idea. Do not linger like this. You must journey forth. Be brave. A demon as a sacrifice? The Black Tower perish seemed full of them. Fear overwhelmed me as I was holding the magic trap, taken from his brother's tomb. Sure. Good evening, Father Abraham. Are you there? If you are hearing this message, then please go outside. It appears that someone has a surprise for you. You can find it next to the fountain in the churchyard. I suppose Satan has baked some special biscuits for you. Wait, Yay, wait, Father, biscuits. There really are biscuits. Don't forget to share them with those hungry children from the orphanage. That is, if there's anyone left you haven't killed yet. But I fear the worst. All right. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not selecting them. A priest usually puts. Uh, well, I don't know if they still do, but priest used to like put the people uh, to rest. So basically, I'm putting them to rest. I allow them to ascend or whatever. But I'm also being blamed for killing them. So you know, it's a. Uh, it's an interesting time. Let's see what's going on outside. Do I have a belt up in my inventory? 
I do. <laughs> Why do I have a belt up in my inventory? <laughs> when did this come there? There's something strange about those eyes. I don't like them staring at that door. Also, for some reason, we have like uh, drawers with grass. <laughs> I don't know why. But it's definitely more grass than I've touched uh, in a long time. Okay, the, the, good, the good old jingle bells, yes. Let's live. When is this taking place? I have no idea. They didn't, they didn't tell us a, a date. But uh, we definitely don't have electricity. Because all of these lamps are uh, based on flame. So it means that it's working on gas and fuel. So that's definitely like uh, before the electricity came to life. This is the first snow I've seen in years. It makes me feel oddly comfortable. Hmm. All right, well, let's uh, check out uh, the area. They told us that there is like something buried uh, next to the church, right? In the radio. So, I believe we should be able to find something around there. Hmm. Yeah, we don't have a heart anymore. We are in a different place now. Well, we're not, now we are not in La, La Land. The other place is La, La Land. Whenever we go to a door, we get to like a different this, this isn't snow. world. What is this? It's in the cache. La, La Land. <laughs> I, I, I call it La, La Land because we basically move uh, to a different uh, world. Oh look, a volcano just showed up out, out of nowhere. <laughs> and it brought Ash with it. Alright. Hello. And yeah, La La Land is a movie. But uh, I don't know, I used the, the term La La Land before the movie came out. The movie is not related to what I'm referring to. I need to put out the fire. All right, put out the fire. It's just a poor smoke here. As a sacrifice. Hmm. Just a very, very heavy smoke here. His, his poor voice has, uh, has gotten raw after uh, a couple of years. He needs to gargle. I need to, need to get him some wa holy water to gargle with, probably. Uh, okay, let's see what we have here. That's a very big bunny. Oh my god, this bunny just burned. Please, can you open the gates, mister? Uh, mister, can you... What's going on here? 
They're acting like I wouldn't be here. Hmm. I feel like we might be dead. Well, let's uh, chase the rabbit. Actually, hold on. But we chase the rabbit. I want to try to open this door. Okay, cool. Well, let's uh, let's go find Alice. Let's uh, chase her white rabbit, a very large white rabbit. Okay, man, let's go, buddy. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's not stray from the pet. I have a feeling I know what we're going to do with this rabbit. <laughs> All right. Yep, that seems about right, but it seems very small now. It seemed the world was down in an ocean sea, and all that was left was the church. Myself, the graveyard, and the demon caught in the gasp, the gasp of the magic trap. Now that I have the demon, I can finally enter the church. Okay, so now we are going to use the rabbit as sacrifice on the altar? Alright. Sure, let's go. The poor rabbit. Well, we we need it. He serves a purpose. He, he is meant for a uh, for blood sacrifice. Yes. Yes, the rabbit shall be our blood sacrifice. This is a bug. <laughs> I thought a lot about your dedication. I sense something good residing within you. Yeah, something good uh, residing within me. That's why I put a dead rabbit right in front of the church. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in this game anymore. I just roll with it. What am I looking at? Hmm. Hmm. It seems that the doors are being held shut by some mystical force. The crystal seems to be alive. Sure, I will keep it. Um. Interesting. I still need to set it on specific numbers. A 
Okay, so now the pipes are connected. If I play the What Remains of Edit Finch, nope, I, I haven't played yet. I believe I have it on uh, on Epic, possibly. Uh, okay, so we made one potion. The other one needs me to grind something from the look of it. Look, it's an endless uh, grinder. All right. So now what? I should play it in a story-based game. I might. I might play it. I mean, I have so many games lined up. <laughs> So, I'll probably add it to the list at some point. Um, I saw a hand for a second there. We must keep all the precious components in a sacred container. Okay, so now I have matches. Okay, so I can lead this thing with matches. I I don't I don't understand what I'm doing. It seems to be releasing for no Hmm. Okay, what is the other one? I created blue. I see. Okay, I got another one of these things. I 
I made the head. I made the sun. Okay, well. That seems to be active. So I need to put something here as well. Yeah, that seems uh, like something I need. Mm, those so-called Eucharistic tears are in fact pure water. I need two molecules of hydrogen and one of oxygen. Ah, okay, now we get some information. Okay, so two molecules of that and one molecule of that. We are doing chemistry. Yes. This must be the tincture of the sun. All right. So now what do I do? The key that opens your house. I always kept a watchful eye on the great laboratory. When there were no more children left to play inside the laboratory, I closed the altar and buried the key. Whomsoever wishes to enter needs to create a new key from Eucharistic tears, essence of earth, and tincture of the sun. Then they must find my cave and forge it inside the Athenor. I don't understand, but okay, sure, I will do that. Give me a second. Uh, all right. Why does it keep going? It doesn't seem to drop more of them. Hmm. And I can move these again. Oh, it was slightly off. Oh, okay. How can this be possible? We created the earth. Peculiar planet. People grow 5,000 roses in one garden. Yet they don't find what they're looking for. What they're looking could be found in a single rose or a little water. I can rise above the earth and watch everything moving in this universe. Now is your time. This must be the essence of earth. Now, David, where can I find Elder Joseph? I need to forge this key. Elder Joseph lives not far from here, but his cave is hidden. I will help you find it. Outside, you will find that I have arranged a sleigh for you. I always loved the winter. All right, apparently we are going to... 
Why the slay? Oh, there we go. <laughs> and the goal is supporting this. All right, let's go. I don't know if I'm in control, but let's. We are. <laughs> we are Santa. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Who? Who are you? I am his father. We will be at your side until the end of times. Okay, before I open that... Oh, I literally don't have anything else, so... Alright. Hello, Father. Well, at least seems uh, dead. Okay, let's let him stew for a bit. My son, unfortunately, if you are reading this, it means I am no longer of this earth. Now that you have brought the world's rarest treasures from the temple, you need to mix them inside a simple jug. Put everything inside the ethanol, then light a fire. You will need my bones for this to task. You are wondering why? Because alchemy works with the very essence of God's creation. May God bless you. I feel I feel blessed, Father. I feel very blessed. You have very long fingers, Father. Um Okay. Let me the tail okay there you go at the bone the mixture Right, there we go. It. Now that I hold this key, I feel as though I'm one step closer to finding the truth. Indeed, I'm afraid the truth could either elevate me to the grace of God or destroy my very being. Okay, so I guess we are riding back on our slide. Huh? Let's go. Ho, ho, ho. I 
gonna just jump off. All right, let's just uh, use the holy key. Mary Felix, some other names I don't know. Hmm, interesting. You are haunted by seven demons. I'm afraid the cruel and early embrace of death has greeted them unbaptized. You need to place their hearts on this altar to put them to rest. I also need the skull of a saint. I advise you to search for a book of rituals in your library. It will help you when you have to face them. Seven hearts and the skull of a saint? As the seven Moroi were hungry, David offered to help banish them. He needed seven hearts and the skull of a saint. Bernta is speaking to David? I, I, I search for clues in my library. I also have a special book there, Eastern Rituals for Banishing the Devil. Years ago, I travelled to Transylvania. There, the townsfolk had a peculiar way of dealing with the ghosts of unbaptized children. They would take the body out of its tomb and bring it to the crossroads. Then, they would drive a wooden stake. The exorcism was a mistake. Now, I can clearly see. David was not possessed. That was only in my mind. He would often ramble about mysticism, about after death, about eternity, about things I couldn't comprehend at that time. I took this as a sign of demonic possession. What child in the world speaks Hebrew at such an early age? He would preach the gospel to the children from the orphanage he would then go to church in the middle of the night and would stay there, crying for hours and hours. I followed him one night. He kept on praying, God have mercy on me, oh God have mercy on me. I thought that he needed help, that he was tormented by demons. I never considered that those could have been signs of his holiness. Okay, so we can't come inside from here. Uh, yeah, I, I'm trying to make sense of this story in my head, but honestly, I don't, I don't get it. So apparently, he can't, we couldn't believe that like a kid can speak Hebrew in this age. Why? If if the kid learn Hebrew early on, he can speak Hebrew. It's not, it's not that hard. There are lots of people that a lot of a lot of kids that know two languages or more in that age. It's not that weird. Ay ay ay, this story is very confusing. Alright, let's uh, go check this library. Hello, kid. You seem uh, blue. Fireflies? Or dragonflies? Dragonflies. Not fireflies, dragonflies. Oh. 
No, the dragonflies. Oh, is that supposed to actually be locals? It might be locals. I have the flame. Disappear. Be gone. I possess the fire. Uh, no, nothing over there, okay. Ooh, waffles. Alright, seems like we cleared the entire hallway. So this is how the ghosts of the unbaptized children want to drive me mad. You stand no chance, Satan. I believe in God and he is my savior. Do you hear me? Cholera. Could this mean that the seven missing children are in fact victims of cholera? I knew I couldn't be guilty. I'll call the radio station right now. They deserve to know the truth before it's too late. All right. That doll seems very happy. Uh, what else do I have here? One night, when the northern lights could be seen clearly in the night sky, I took this dagger and slit the throat of a lamb. A memory. I am ashamed of now. Is that a two-headed baby? All right. What else can I do? Um, mushy, mushy. Spider. Good evening, sir. Good evening, caller. This is Father Abraham Marcus from St. Mary's. Good heavens, the killer priest, the child murderer himself? Silence your lying tongue. You know as well as I do that those children didn't go missing. They died of cholera. Stop turning people against me with false claims. Why are you all trying to crucify me by connecting me to their deaths? Father, Father please, listen. We don't care if you kill them or not. We're particularly interested in that poor little altar boy, David. What do you do with him? Hmm? Please do tell. <laughs> Enough of this madness. They're acting like demons as well, like wild beasts. I shall linger no more. The ritual book, where is it? Where is the ritual book? Let us get uh, the ritual going. So why all of these books are Bibles? <laughs> History. Cultist witchcraft. Eastern rituals. And it said something about Eastern ritual, right? Should be around there somewhere. scare me. Do you understand? I'm on the object. What harm could I bring? 
You know where you can find the book, but for this you must sign the blood bath on this shelf right here. Ah yes, I will sign the blood pact with a, a demon Father, child. The Son and the Holy Ghost. Amen. This is not what I asked of you. Are you okay. All right. Well, the key is down. Thank you. All right. So I got a key. But we didn't get a book. On the table. What table? Okay. On the glass case. Uh, we had the glass case around here somewhere. Inside the glass case. In your hand. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yep, that seems like about about right. David told me about. Now, I should go down to the crypt. I hope the gate to the old cemetery is open. I don't believe they're open, since I tried to open them earlier. But who knows, they might be open now. I decided to perform an exorcism of the seven unbap of the seven unbap unbaptized children. They died of cholera. I knew I might have to rip their heart out of their chest with the ritual dagger. Yeah, that seems normal. Yeah, that seems like a, uh, something I, I would normally do. Okay, apparently there are three pictures in this place. And we can change between winter and spring again. Welcome. This place was my home for a long time. We are holding a tea party on the nearby island. We can't start until everyone is present. My brother Alexander was left behind locked inside his bedroom. Can you open the doors and call him? Of course. Get out of my way, children. I shall massacre all of you later.
Hmm. Okay. Lots of flowers and stuff, but not what I need. What do I have over here? Aha! What happens if I make this into winter? Sure. My God, this place, it's alive. All grown ups were once children, but only few of them remember it. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to get over there, but sure. Uh, I see. Dear Mom, this is the first letter I am writing to you. I am so happy here. I would never live this place. I am always playing with the other children. Yesterday, we found a new magic formula that can change the color of the flowers. I love you, Mom. Hmm. I assume we need the study for each child, probably. Hello? You seem to be alive. visiting me every week and bringing me apple pies. Alexander is not feeling well these days, but he will regain his strength. Today we discovered a new formula that can bring back to life any dead flowers. Can you believe it? I love you, Mom. A formula to bring back dead flowers? Mm, okay.
What kind of science are your kids doing here? Today, something special happened. A woman and her husband came to the orphanage, looking to adopt a child. She was very beautiful, with long, dark hair. And he was tall and charming. They both looked like wealthy people. The monks gave them David, the wisest child in the orphanage. Wait, if they gave him them David, then it means that David wasn't an orphan anymore, right? Open this door. Still not know what I'm supposed to do with this child. I assume that I need to stab him at some point. Uh, let's see what happens if I pass on this thing. Oh, I'm actually not allowed to change the the weather inside the house. Okay. I believe I went over the entire place. Which tells me that I need to come here when... When I have the other stuff, probably. Alright. Let's go see what I can find here. Just for a change to the other season. All right. So what do we have out here? The violin again. A lock. Okay, so we need the key for that. Let's see if anything changes if I change to winter.
I don't see anything. Yeah, I don't see anything. Hmm. Alright. Doesn't seem like anything changes in this area, so I assume that I need to do everything in the other place, get the key, and then uh, come back here. Okay. Well, let's see if we can interact with anything now that I don't have the kids around. Can I interact with this during the wind, the summer? Kids move. No, it don't let me interact. This must be something, I. Can't touch that. Okay. Um, can we go in the water like before? No, the water is the dead end. Can't interact with that whatsoever. Did they go inside that? Same regardless of the season. Uh, okay, let's go back to winter. Okay. 
Okay. Um. So I can only come from the form. All right. And there's still nothing outside. Okay. So now the question is what am I missing? There should be several of them, so I'm missing one. Which I assume is probably in another doorway or something. Excuse me, Sal. different if I come from the other door. I wonder if this hints to me how many of them are supposed to be in each room. I doubt it because then the numbers won't uh, add up. Uh, okay, so. What are we missing? We do have one key though. You know, this isn't funny. It's just a game. Go ahead. No. Ah. Ah. It seems you're beginning to understand. It was just another test. Now you need to find seven toys and bring them to me. In exchange, I will give you the names of the seven children you need to find. The dolls are all scattered inside the house. I found them. So where do I take the dolls? the dolls. Hmm, I wonder if I need to give it to the children. Like each doll might correspond to a child, right?
Let's see one key there. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's try to take them to the tent on the other side and uh, see if it's doing anything. Hopefully it will uh, achieve something. Okay, so I got seven dolls. I got the book, but I do not know where to take any of them. And we are bells. Or um, something. So all the children that were here are gone now. I don't know what you want from me. I do not know what you want from me. Maybe in the back of the house where the graves are, we're going to bury them.
Oh. Okay. I would take it. So we are short one picture and I don't know what else I need to do now. Alright. Wait, can I use that? I, I will can. Tell you the truth about how Alexander died. David and Alexander never had a chance to play together as children do. Years ago, before meeting you, they lived at the Little Prince Orphanage in Romania. Then there was an outbreak of cholera. All the orphans were vaccinated with only two syringes. One of those was unsterilized, and it happened to be the one used on poor Alexander. David was spared. We pass through time like wafted leaves in the wind. I will forever keep Alexander in my heart. All right, so there was a reason we had bells. It's because I literally have to go to a different location. All the doors with him. Okay. Image, I am of your unutterable glory, though I bear the scars of my sins. O Lord, who watches over children in the present life and in the world to come, because of their simplicity and innocence of mind, abundantly satisfying them with a place in heaven bringing them to live in radiantly shining places where the spirits of the righteous dwell. Oops. Come on. Come on. Shake them bells, shake them. <laughs> Getting caught down with the bell. Can I? Can I take off? Can I? 
Can I rip the bells? Please? No? I'm still, I still have a job? Pulling the bell? Alright. Oh, waiting for someone to come over? Alright. Thank God. Uh, looks like a puzzle pieces. I missed one picture. No, David helped me find the names of the seven demons. Unspeakable grief was hiding behind this game about the little prince, his brother, and timely death. Um, okay. So, what now? Do we just go to the thing outside? Not. Why did you become a priest? Because of my love for God. You dare speak of love? What about your love for me? You don't understand. This is about something greater than myself. Alone. Please. I was trying to be with uh, with the religious stuff. It's like, oh no, I can't love a woman, but I do love a woman. I said, leave me alone. Stop. Where are you going? Like part of the problem in religion is that uh, they are uh, restraining themselves, and they're restraining themselves to the point where it's like becoming dangerous for the people around them. Like the entire point of like uh, them being pure and all of that, again, it was part of like uh, Leave me alone. keeping people in check and control and all of that. But there's done more harm than good in the long run. Where's my butterfly? Excuse me? It's not fly around there. Oh, that is. Please, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't let your meme be memes. Like right now, it just seems like a stalker. Literally chasing her bell. Hmm. Uh. Such an incorrigibly selfish thing. Ok, 
Okay, apparently now we are a diver. Alexandra's dad was haunting me as I was heading towards the abandoned crypt. The last funerals were of those I did to exercise. This place stinks. Oh God, the dreadful stench of death. The devil is twisting the reality. Yes, it's all the devil's fault. It's not the church fault. It's only the devil. Man, what a religious nonsense. Nonsical game. Mm, all right. The fire. It burns within me. With love for my brother. Sure. I will take your candle. Salt. I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's music. Exhibition painting depicting St. Francis. I was in mourning at the time. You noticed me. You approached me, seeing that I was upset and dressed in black. You, a stranger, approached me in an art gallery and comforted me. Who would have done that? I started crying. You wiped my tears away with a white handkerchief. I felt something I could not be. Right. I was in love for the first time. You told me that you lived your life in vain until the day you discovered God. Wounded as I was, I fell prey to love. But I never thought you would put your love for God above me. I still love you. It doesn't matter anymore. Hmm. Okay. So that's basically a uh, memo, I guess. Or oh, she killed herself, probably. She was like, I will leave you one last message. Listen to it on your uh, megaphone, or whatever this thing is called, I forgot its name. A uh, party phone? I think it's party phone. Something I missed up here? I did. I did indeed. Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Grab this uh, heart. Yep, seems good. All right, we got one down. Come on. Okay, come out. Come on. Hello, child. We make this great divine holy 
accusation and plea, O devil, for thine expulsion, as well as this rebuke for your utter annihilation, Satan. Yes, be gone, Satan. Be gone. He who composed all things well by his word from nothingness into being. He who walks upon the wings of the air, the Lord rebukes thee, devil. Okay. Can I check this picture? No. Alright, so... I don't see if I can put names on any of the other ones there. I think I'm done with this one. Alright. Come on. Come, 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 come on. Oh, hello. Is that me? How vile! The devil twisted the reality, trapping me inside the hellish creature. The specter of my death was everywhere. But was I truly dead? Fear, isn't it? You must not fear. By transcending reality, you understand that fear is for those who see only the material world. But you, you can see more. You can see my world. Hmm. Wait, what's the purpose of this thing? It's too, it's too strange. It seems the same. Man, yeah, nothing seems to be changing down there. Alright, might be that I'm stuck in one time period right now. Either that or that specific zone won't change. That you don't have faith. For example, do you believe with your own heart that you can raise a temple sunk in hundreds of years ago from the water?
Okay, so this one controls these two. This one controls... The one next to me. Okay, so now everyone is... Transparent. Was that my goal? Was I supposed to make the mountain spirit? Can't seem to click them anymore, so I assume that... Uh, oh yeah, there we go. We have a bridge now. Okay, so that was my goal. Oh, uh, what else do I have here? Okay, so we only messed up one picture, apparently. Oh well. I'm not uh, going to be bothered by it. Um, so let's go cross the invisible bridge. Very slowly, but surely we are getting there. Yes. I'm coming. Cold. Alright. Very shiny. Looks like we have a bridge connecting to another bridge. Question mark. Alright, let's see what we have here. A bunch of cats. An Egyptian god. Oh. Ah yes, I, I forgot the, the part uh, in Christianity where they pray for the Egyptian gods. They do, they are hard, hard believers on the Egyptian, Egyptian gods. Yeah, you can do anything about the fire. If I change weather. Aha. Uh -huh. And now here is my secret. A very simple secret. It is only with the heart that one can see right. What is essential is invisible to the eye. Something invisible to the eye, okay. I think they mean I need to put a book on the invisible platform, probably. Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay, let's uh, let's press this book over there and see if something happens. Oh, a bunch of religious symbols. Okay. It's the palace of God. The holy palace. Okay. 
Okay, another uh, platform to do something. a great deal among grown-ups. I have seen them intimately, close at hand, and that hasn't much improved my opinion of them. I have to agree with this kid. I have to agree very much with this kid. Alright, so what else? Okay, another bearded dude, which I assume is God. Ah yes, God, please show me a revelation. Okay, I think I need to raise it to one or possibly. Yep, we have one more area, alright. Let's see what we got here. Okay, it's a rock, yes. Okay, hello God. Don't mind me, just uh, coming from the back door. The proof that he lived is that he was charming, that he laughed, and that he was happy. If someone is happy, that is a proof that he exists. Seems logical enough for me. Alright. Let's place this book down and see what's going to happen. After the meeting with my master, you'll fear no more. You'll see a reflection of me. Who's your master? And why only a reflection? Mortals cannot see his splendor and live. Is this the countenance of your glory? It's the skull priest. David brought me into his wall to have a glimpse of his master. I need this moment of respite, since the pain of the exorcism was more than I could bear. Oh look, I'm awake again. Alright, well, that was a good rest. Let us continue exorcism part 2. Hello. He who calls forth the water of the sea and pours it upon the face of all the earth. Lord of hosts is his name. Satan, the Lord rebukes thee. 
Okay, another route. Another route. May the Lord rebuke thee. He who shall come again with glory upon the clouds of heaven with his holy angels to judge the living and the dead. All right. And one more person here. God, who is holy, beginningless, frightful, invisible, infinite in power, and incomprehensible in divinity, the King of glory and Lord Almighty, he shall rebuke the devil. Okay, one more person. Is he here? Yes, okay, cool. spirits and demons to depart from the soul and body of your servant and not to remain nor hide in him and we go to the cell I am fading I'm fading exhausted I fell unconscious on the cold floor was I drying no, not dying drying was I drying Inarticulate, scornful, screams were surrounding me. Also, surrounding is wrong. Uh, even thought I found all the seven hearts. I'm dead. Do not worry. There's a magic potion that can bring you back. I will help you brew it. All right. Boo now play with E. I don't know what this thing says. I do not understand this weird English. Yeah, I don't know. Hello, kid. What's up? A flower? Well, thank you. Rose. Thank you, little one. It is the time you have wasted for your rose that makes your rose so important. Am I going to get something from each kid? I have a feeling that like we're going to get something from each kid to like represent like something. Uh Okay, where the boat? I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do with that, but okay. Okay. This is a strange ship. It was my home for hundreds of years. Awake and alive. Seem to interact with anything. Oh, okay. Um, let me see. Weird Z, weird K, weird female symbol. All right, weird Z, weird K, weird female symbol. Okay, we got weird female symbol. Not entirely sure which side I'm supposed to set it in. Okay, weird K. K 
can't seem to move the upper one, so I guess I need to set it based on the upper one. Okay, so it should be correct. Yeah, it should be correct. Kidding. David, did you steal this cross? Yes. What are you going to do about it, Father? I'm already dead. Okay, now we got the level. Ah, no more grass, nice. This game have a bunch of like empty doors for no reason. Something candle, something cross, mercury, something greater, red rose, holy cross, the page. Sure. I guess this is the instructions. Why keep it in such a precious container? Oh look, a bunch of uh, Ebo letters. Well, I'm saying a bunch, but it's literally only <laughs> three letters. A Vav A U. Cool. This must be the page from St. John Chrysostom's book. Let's we actually see have, what it says. We actually have a puzzle. Oh my god. We actually have a puzzle. Alright. Let us see what we have here. Also, well, why part of this? Okay, apparently. Apparently, this is the correct placement, so it's just stuck them together, alright. Same for these two. Okay. It's a very odd way to do this puzzle, but that's fine. Um. The tiniest piece, all right. Okay, this is on the other side, I believe. Other side. This seems to be like somewhere around there, I don't know where exactly. Let's keep it down here. Okay, so that should be around there. Okay. Not sure where to place that, so I won't do it yet. Okay. Uh, this one. Alright. I have awakened you in my arms and I love you and I prefer you mow my wife himself for when <laughs> the rest and life is more I'm just going to wait as, as as I see it. For the press life is nothing and my most an Andrew dream is 
to spend it with you in such a way that we may be assured of na of of na of not of not being separated in the life reserved for us. I place your life above all things, and nothing would be more bitter or painful to me when uh, then than to be of a different mind than you. John Chrysostom or Chrysostom whatever I, I got a weird note alright I assume I need to decouple this at some point. That seems to be like the only reason to be over here. Yeah. Crank it up. Come on. That seems to be as far as it will move to this side. I don't even get why they even have these letters here. They're, it literally doesn't mean anything. It's not even a word, it's just like they took the letters and shoved them in, 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 next to each other. Well, I guess this one over there is the only one that actually means something. It basically means God. It's one of the Bible ways to write God. Don't actually write God in the Bible, you write this way. I have no idea what they want me to do here. Oh, wait. So this is the stairs I came from, so I believe they want me to move it far enough so I can connect it to the other one. But it doesn't seem to move behind a certain point. Yeah, this won't get me to where I need, so let's go all the way to the other side. Okay, is that... actually leading me to anywhere? Nope. Literally the only thing I can do is the other side, but I can't reach it. Means there should be another way to do that, probably. Either that or I'm missing something else. Yeah. Okay, so once again, I pulled it all the way. I 
and I can't reach them. Is there something outside? Can I move these things again? No. There too seems to be ladder or stairs on the other side, I just don't want to get them. What am I missing? God, give me a sign. Give me a sign, God. What do you want from me? These are the same letters, just in reverse, because we see them to the wall alone. Like, it's short only by a few millimeters, so... Am I supposed to... Sulfur, or rather philosophical sulfur, as an alchemist would say. There we go, that's what was blocking me. All right. That should be enough. Okay, so what are we doing here? What is this sound? The Romanian monks from the old monastery. It is a call to prayer. Sounds like a call to battle. responsible for her and she's so weak and so naive she has four ridiculous storms to defend her against the world like you I don't know what they'll do want for me. Uh, okay, let's check out this house, I guess. Oh, apparently not the house. Okay, fine. Hmm. Well, I have a giant flower. I believe I came from the top of the mountain, so what happens if I go down? Oh, maybe, maybe it's come for me, I don't know. Once I played on this beautiful island, one day I found a cave. I walked toward its entrance. Inside, I found the most beautiful toys and the most exquisite sweets. So this is your hiding place. This is not a game anymore.
Okay, I've got my chance. I am missing something? You know, I can put all the materials in. Uh, an example of life. Candles, the cause. Mercury, Sulfur, Ether. I don't think I have Ether. Red Rose, Holy Cross, The Page. I think I'm missing Ether. Is the Ether... Sitting within my heart, loving master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of my mind that I may comprehend your mysteries. No. Okay, I am missing an object. I'm pretty sure it's the ethyl, so I am supposed to extract from the flower, I guess, somehow. Maybe I can burn it now that I have a match. Okay, I made a bunch of flowers. Not just one, I also have a bunch of them. Maybe I just need to get close to the water, and the water will be the other. Not giving an interaction option. Uh, if you love a flower that lives on a star, it is sweet to look at the sky at night. All the stars are abloom with flowers. There is one red flower in the water. Ether is in one of the baskets? I mean, I went over all of them, kind of. So I just skimmed them, but maybe... It's literally sitting in one of them.
I am confused. What do you want me to do? I mean, the flower showed up after I looked at the book, right? So it might be that I'm done with this, but then where is the ether? Unless this is the ether? Which I already took. So then I should have had everything, but the uh, thing doesn't work. I didn't use the rose for anything. Maybe I need to figure out where to put the rose. I think that might be the issue. Unless I put it in one of the jars without not Well, no, the, the, the rose isn't on me, so I, I, I must have used it. So I think I'm missing something else. So, let's assume this is the ether, okay? Ether... Something, something... Something I didn't put in. By the butterfly that looks... Butterfly cover sits on the cover of this thing, which I can't remove. The candles, the cross, Mercury, Sulfur, Ether... A red rose, a holy cross, the pages. Ah, uh, what? Hold on, Jesus. I'll fix you up in a second, Cell. So. In you, I see the light of life. Is it good now? Make thy slave a child of light. All right, there we go. Let's take a sip. David brought me back to life. He had the power of transfiguring the world. Change sadness into beauty. Sure. Oh, looks like we are back at uh, this place. All right. This fine environment. I can't seem to interact with the stuff there. I do have seven hearts, and they did tell us to go to the mausoleum, I think. That's what they call it. Hello. Come in, father. Let's have a talk. What sure, what's up? A child of light. We shall destroy you. My master was also a son. David is an angel. Soon the pain will end. Hell is not temporary. Hell preserves the pain. After death you have no flesh to experience your sinful delights. No stomach to enjoy the food, no tongue to enjoy the sweet wine. No body to enjoy the pleasures of your horse. Yet you crave for all those things. This is pain. 
Okay, I guess well done. Goodbye. Hello, child. What is this? What is that? Rope, wax, wood, and feathers to make Ikaro swing. In vain, I had the. It's hard to find the center and the end of space. Beneath some burning unknown gaze. I feel my very wings unpinned. Okay. Man, me, me and religious stuff. I don't get any of that. Especially Christian religious stuff, I, 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 I never... I never read a book. It wasn't, it wasn't part of my itinerary. But, uh, well, well, game? Is that okay? I mean, I don't like the stairs either. But we need to chill out, game. Okay, we need to put something here. Alright. What do we have done here? A carriage was waiting for me, and an unseen force pushed me inside. I only had to retrieve the skull of the saint, and then all would be over. The room changed into a brothel. Blasphemy. Earlier, it was just a storage room for the church. Ah yes, a brothel for dolls. How shameful. Look at these dolls, how they seen. Alright. Uh, don't care about any of the shit. Okay, we've got a sword. What the hell am I looking at? What the hell are you? Can I stab you? Can't live. I must be missing something here. I must be needing to shove the sword inside, right? No. That seems like the likely target, right? We usually see a giant monster, you will shove the sword into it. That is how it works. Can I go down the water? Hmm. What's up, Ivan? What did they want to do, to do here? I... I am confused. I would like to... get the skull of a saint... and we are supposed to get it from a bottle. Which means that there should be one catcher alone, which is uh, the one over there. 
Can't seem to do anything to it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, don't mind me, just poking a weird thing. I mean, I can stab you instead. Are they speaking from the stomach? Because the stomach moves whenever we they speak, so... Oh. I want me to bring something to eat, the fruits of my sins. Can't take the second sword. I will to bring 21 gas. Um, hmm. Give me your skull. And I, I need to move the spin the, the camera around to find it, I think, and... I really don't want to spin the camera too much. It will make me feel sick. Uh... That's a very shiny platter. I'm missing him. Okay, I guess I missed this one earlier, but that was something I figured I shouldn't be touching. I just went for the bigger right away. I'm clicking everything, literally no interaction. Sometimes the interaction is a bit uh, obscured, so I'm also like doing uh, actual clicks. Sometimes it's not marking it for whatever reason. But I have no idea what they want me to do now. I don't even know where to click. I hear beards from the big guy. Can't I just... Sh 
of the sword into him. That Rosa Mel something. Can't seem to take the chandelier to use as a weapon. Can't use pots. Can't use the smoking apparatus. Do any of that. Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Also, apparently my recording has stopped because I ran out of space. Is this game that heavy? Man. I had a bunch of space. I don't know what to do. Can't I just jump into the water? I really want to just jump. Okay, no. Now we can. Okay. Baby, yeah, let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. I have a baby in a jar with the cause in it. So, I mm -hmm. my own way. Unfortunately, we will never be able to marry. As a priest, I'm forbidden to do that. I swore an oath. Even so, though I should not, I still love you. God, what a deadly sin. Nevertheless, it is good that we do not live together anymore. But that is not enough. We shall never see each other again. We cannot live in sin anymore. Stop visiting me at night under the pretext of confessing your sins. It is a torment of the body and soul. People talk. Everything has to stop. Goodbye, Alexandra. I hate you, but consider my hatred to be a strange kind of love that can't find a way of expressing itself other than this. Okay. Sure. Hello, friend. I've got uh, some food for you. Oh, 
Oh look, it's uh, the skull of a saint. The skull of the saint who saved us from God's wrath. Among all the corruption, I found the answer to why we are still alive. The war exists because of the saints, because of the little prince, because of David. Yes. Yes. Look, we have flower now. Yay. Okay, so we're supposed to do something here. I assume we're not messing with this stuff anymore. You've done it. You banished them. I know you have a lot of unanswered questions, but words are the source of misunderstandings. Inside, there is a special toy I crafted for you. The key to our little secret. David gave me David gave me a reliquary was the answer to all my questions inside of it. Would you show me? Reliquary. Okay, I guess we're going up. I can't father. see a way to open it without risking breaking it. Uh. Hello. Hmm. Today, he who hung the earth upon the waters is hung on the cross. The king of the angels is decked with a crown of thorns. He who wraps the heavens in clouds is wrapped in the purple of mockery. He who freed Adam in the Jordan is slapped in the face. The bridegroom of the church is affixed to the cross with nails. This game is very on the nose with its references. Sure, let's take that as well. I assume we're making the wings now and we're going to like fly course or some bullshit. I feel like I'm missing a piece. Wings, wings, that is what I need. Kid, where are the, where are the feathers? Do you have a chicken? That seems normal. Just plucking some feathers from a raven, yeah. Alright. Let's go. I guess I need more ravens. Sure. Oh, 
chill. Father, into your hands I can mend my soul. This is not real. What am I doing here? I'm flying. The devil can take the aspect of an angel. Despite everything, I was resolute in my desire to find the poor child. This is the last world we will ever visit. Goodbye, my friend. Some nails. Ooh, another puzzle. Nice. I like that. I like having uh, some puzzles in this game. Wish they had more. Okay. Okay. This can wait. This can. Well, this can be on the corner. Okay, we're getting it together. This seems to be part of that to some degree. There we go. There it is the Lord and the pikeness to fall, the world and all that dwell therein. You are this, I don't know. And no, poor thing, something she doesn't even know who I really am. You will return. Dust, and you are dust, okay. So this is the dust. Why, well, hello, Mr. Owl. Okay, so we have some tools. Apparently we're making a coffin. Okay, I will just carry this in my pocket. Hello, sir. Hello, madam. Hello, everyone. This is my... this. this. Niște oameni fără milă ne-au adoptat. Niște ucigași. Dacă i-aș întâlni... Dacă i-aș întâlni, le-aș smulge inima din piept cu propriile mele mâini. Da, cu propriile mele mâini. Și apoi le-aș vârâ-o pe gât. Ucigașii, ucigașii, ucigașii! Arză iar focul iadului să iarză. Dumnezeule, copilul meu. Părinte, acolo de unde ați venit... Ați auzit de nemernicii ăia doi care mi-au înviat copilul? Alexandra și Abraham. Oh, God, why are you doing this to me? I can't pretend anymore that I don't understand what she's saying. I've adopted him, but I didn't kill him. No, I didn't. David, dragul mamei, David...
Okay, I put him inside. Apparently, I'm still missing something, though. How did I become dressed like this? Parinte, parinte, nu ne lasa. Avem nevoie de preot la înmormântarea copilului nostru. Ajută-ne. I'm trying to help you. I don't know what I need to do. Give me a second. Show. Uh, is that enough? Let us take the son to his father. Okay. Yeah, some cigars. Yes, we need to <laughs> we need to smoke in order to bury our child. Oh. And then I took it back. Christ, flesh and blood, purifies my heart, create in me a 
something how oh god er and renew a right spirit within me what the hell I don't understand this religious mumbo jumbo. Okay, we have everything below us. Apparently, I can do something here. Let me out! Hmm... Okay... Alright, I'm ready. Okay, we need to grab a barrel and we need to grab some alcohol. All right. Uh, excuse me, sir. Do you happen to have a shovel? Thank you. Seems to observe the earth. And where is my alcohol? Joe. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. You shall wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. I paid for my mistakes. Was it enough? God knows. My heart was torn asunder with grief. This is how you wanted to be buried. Surrounded by loving people. It's the cow. I almost lost my temper. All of these for a bo for a toy.
I will come down once you've called the other seven children. They want to witness this special moment. I'm sorry, David. I didn't find all the icons. What use would they have been anyway? None. The first one is the course. The next one is this one. Okay. Okay, the one after it is the weird triangle, which is that. Okay, then the number two. I do not have. Didn't get its picture. Okay, let's skip it for now. Next one is the grapes. Where are the grapes? Yeah, it's grapes. Where are the grapes? Uh... I don't see the grapes. Oh, there it is. The beam covered it, I didn't see it. Okay, the weird pyramid. Alright. Is that the last one? No, it looks, like, it looks a bit different. The, it's an X with something to it or whatever okay, there. Okay, so now we only have the number two, which I don't have.
can't seem to move the dial anymore. Am I stuck because I didn't get the last one? Am I the last one? I don't think we can do it because I'm missing the, uh, the other part. Uh, hmm. Doesn't seem like I'm allowed to go back. What happens if I pass loud? I mean, they can't expect people to like collect every single thing in the game. Sometimes you miss it. Okay. Weird. Oh, there are two tools. That was the problem. Okay. So, yeah, we don't have this picture. Now everything is written up. But love burns. 
It is the river that separates the worlds. The righteous rejoice in the light, while evil suffers unspeakable torment. I failed him. He came in this world to lead me towards the light, and I, I... The letter. I'll send it together with the key once I'm far away from here. Children are not allowed to drink coffee. The window. I need a rope. Okay. Why did he draw my eyes so big? It doesn't even resemble me. Can I stop that? No glass. What am I missing? Pretty sure that was everything that I said that was said before and right? visit me in my world whenever you want. If you come at any time, I shall never know what hour my heart is to greet you. So I'll always be ready to. Okay. Apparently now I'm a, ch I'm a child. I think. But I'm not David, I'm someone... Rise. Rise into the sky to eternity and beyond. Someone else. So that's what happened. David! Please, don't die. Please, my child. This will be our little secret. No, no. How could God allow this to happen? How?
In my indescribable grief, deep within my tormented soul, I searched for a way to keep him with me. I never wanted to know his fragile body returning to dust. I wanted to hold him in my arms for eternity. But I knew it would be impossible. I had to find a way of keeping him with me. But how? It was then that I had the idea. Alexandra couldn't stand the sight of it. She killed herself in a moment of despair. Actually, hold on. No. Uh, where is my party phone? I think we had like one around here as well, right? They might have removed them. I'm only supposed to use uh, something inside the room. I kept his body in a bathtub filled with ice. As I hold you. I feel the shadow of death wrapping itself around me. Hmm. I have lost my faith. Oh. Sinned, for I have betrayed innocent blood. I think I got a bad ending. Uh, because I didn't tell all the pictures. That's fine, I guess. the end. All right, there we go. That was a uh, great dawn, I guess. Hmm. We can apparently continue, but I feel like this is uh, probably the end of the game. What I do find interesting is we didn't get credits. What happens if I press continue? I failed them. Okay, this takes me to the last scene, basically. Come on, I want to exit. I want to exit, man. Man, let me off. All right. So I guess this is uh, the end of Great Down. Yeah, it's uh, it was a very weird game. The translation was a bit off sometimes, but that's not uh, that's not why it was weird. It was weird because it was just a weird game. And apparently this is our credits. Okay, so it's very short credits, very small team, which I guess explains why we have so many weird things. But. 
I don't know how I feel about this game. Most of the stuff I, I didn't get, because I'm not really in that much into the religion stuff. But uh, it was interesting, I guess. Yeah, it was rather interesting, but uh, I won't say that uh, this is uh, necessarily my kind of game. But it did have its interesting aspect for me. But anyway, that uh, that should be it for, for it, and also I believe that should be it for today. So, let us wrap it up. Alright, so, thank you for watching, thank you for hanging out, and thank you for getting company. But that shall be it for today, and that should be it for Great Dawn. And per usual, if you like what you've seen here, make sure to follow, if you're on Twitch. And if you're watching this anywhere else that I may have uploaded into, make sure to follow, subscribe, or whatever it's called over there. Since I do upload these vlogs in several places, and each one have its own name. So do so if you wish to, to catch more of these vlogs. But as far as that should be it. So thank you. And uh, bye bye.